I'm Barbara Myers. I'm interested in becoming a city leader. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a Unitarian Universalist minister, and I'm um, a minister who works in the community rather than being the minister of a church. I'm affiliated with the Mission Peak Unitarian Universalist congregation in Fremont, California. The focus of my ministry is mental health. And uh, I've done a number of things with my ministry. Um, I've written a curriculum for congregations about mental health. I have um, produced a set of television programs and a set of videos focusing on mental health and recovery. Um, I work in a um, peer support mental health center in Fremont as a quarter time position. I've been doing that for um, about 18 years. Um, I'm also, um, this is my second career. I, my first career, I was a computer software engineer. I worked at IBM for 25 years. And um, I left that, I retired from that business, and then I went to seminary and became a minister. And I'm very happy with my uh, career choice and my career change. I'm also a weaver and uh, I love to do weaving and other things, other kinds of craft activities. And I'm a grandmother of two beautiful little boys. I come to this um, ministry, my, the, this passion of working on mental health issues because I myself I live with a mental health issue and was uh, very much helped by being with other people and being in other people with as a part of a religious congregation. My professional training has been um, uh, from the ministry, a master of divinity uh, from Star King School for the Ministry in Berkeley. That's a Unitarian Universalist seminar seminary in Berkeley. And I have a certificate of in spiritual direction from the Chaplaincy Institute in in Berkeley as well. I, he I heard of Sidewalk Talk when another uh, spiritual director and I decided to try to look at becoming, um, well, using our spiritual direction to help people who were marginalized in marginalized contexts. And, and um, so we were we had, we had heard of other spiritual directors that have done something like this, and when we were exploring uh, doing this in San Francisco, we discovered that there was a sidewalk talk, and we went and observed, and we signed up as listeners, and we have been, um, this other person and I have, have gotten the, um, the uh, I guess, affiliation with the Faithful Fools Street Ministry in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. It's a place I actually did part of my internship for when I was uh, training to be a minister. And we have been, since uh, the last part of October, we have been sitting out on the corner of Hyde and Turk in San Francisco, in the Tenderloin District of San Francisco, uh, every Thursday afternoon. Um, and. We um, talk to anybody who comes by and wants to talk to us and give smiles and other things out, out into um, other people who just are walking by. The motivation to be a city leader, well, when I was inquiring about uh, some of the things that we wanted to do with our ministry, um, Marion uh, suggested that I'm, that that we become city leaders because some of the things we were asking about were things that city leaders do and some of the things that we've already been doing are, are what city leaders do. So um, when we made a promise to ourselves that we would do this for at least six months and, and see how it goes and then figure out what we're going to do. And we're pretty sure that we're going to um, want to expand what we're doing um, either in San Francisco or uh, possibly in Oakland, where my um, colleague lives, or in Fremont, California, which is where I live. 
So, um, personal interests of mine, um, well, because of the, the focus of my ministry, which is in mental health, I am interested in working with marginalized populations and uh, people who normally no one ever listens to. I think it's so incredibly important to do this work. Um, and as I said, we've been doing this for a couple of months, and um, I've have had other volunteer experiences. You know, working in um, uh, once a month, I go to, to John George Psychiatric Hospital with a bunch of other people to talk to um, some of the patients there about um, recovery and what they can do. Um, my vision of si sidewalk talk. Well, in San Francisco, I think if we were to do it in San Francisco, we would expand what we're doing, uh, getting other people involved. Um, if we were to do it in, in either in Oakland or in Fremont, it would matter of getting, you know, finding other volunteers. And I'm, I'm confident that we would be able to find other volunteers in either of those two locations and you know, figuring out where we're going to sit and, and what, what gets the most foot traffic. And anything else important about me? Well, I believe that every human being is um, a precious um, individual. Every life is precious. And that presence in uh, just being there, being with someone, uh, smiling at them, talking to them, um, is a real gift. Um, and there's a saying that you know, miracles could take place if we if we could uh, let this kind of gift go forward in the world. So um, that's all I have to say.